Mary's Yard has had its ups and downs, from grading issues. I think it's going to be too steep. To finding plants that will grow under a big, bodacious maples. Hope it takes some heavy shade. <laughs> <laughs> some heavy shade. <laughs> and now, Old Man Winters got us by the bulbs. Now that the weather's come around, we're kicking it back into overdrive. We call it the last minute scramble. The challenge of designing a late fall project that branches into spring is that the client wants to make doubly sure all the bases are covered. Wow. What a difference. <laughs> it looks great. You should see what this place looked like before. This project was actually really exciting for us. It's a significant landscape and it's unique. It's taken a site that's lawn and two trees and added so much more interest. I love it, absolutely love it. Joel has taken it beyond our expectations. It's amazing that these uh, mature maples are here too, you know. Shallow roots I know is one thing, but you've done such a great job masking that. I think it's well, that was it. They, they were a real difficulty to work with because of their root systems. You know what's really interesting about this? It's just breaking up this space with this little gravel area. It made such a huge difference. Yeah. It's a nice, inexpensive method. And, and you know what? The stone, they had the option to do whatever stone to match the existing front walkway, so it ties it all in. This plant material and the interaction with the walkway, that beautiful wall in the front, the front entrance has been accentuated. And then because of the little patio, and uh, it just makes it a very warm and welcoming environment. It really brought this corner together, didn't it? Oh, yeah. And I love the lines. They go this way, and they run, it just it tied a big corner lot with two beautiful big maples together. As these shrubs get bigger and the perennials come back more and more beautiful every year, the neighborhood's going to freak out for this garden. Our neighbors have, uh, have been actually very kind to us and, and have really forgiven us for the chaos that we've brought. We're really happy to see this sort of thing happening. And every time somebody does something like this, there's a big improvement in the neighborhood, and we all win. What I love about it, too, uh, is the fact that you're actually stopping people from cutting across, like the mailman, the school kid, children. You've got some good stoppage in between here, good buffer zone. A client has uh, certain requirements and certain problems they want solved. The team came up with a great design. These rows work perfect to slow people down. I think we're no longer going to have a problem of, of, of people cutting across the property. It's so visual from everywhere around here that yep. like now it's like people walk the neighborhood going, yeah, wow, this, this really this, brought the whole neighborhood I up agree. a little bit. It's like the dominant house. The front yard has changed incredibly from very much a suburban type property to something that's more interesting. It's great. The lighting in itself has added a different component to the property. The beauty of that is, is when it is downlit, you can, you know, walking in through the entranceway, you've got that cast, uh, the shadow cast of the branches and make it really dramatic. And the grade here, you just, you know, it seems like you're probably about 30 inches or so higher than the sidewalk, but it makes it feel like you're way up on top of this kind of hill. It's really made the house feel grand. What, what more could you do to the property? It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, this staircase is so fantastic, guys. I just feel like king of the suburbs, man. Like, king of the suburbs, man. I love it. <laughs> King of the suburbs, man!